Hello everyone, if you guys were following from the last tutorial, we went over um, mesh generation. So for this tutorial, we're going to create this terrain from the same code, the surface tool. So let's get started on doing it. Alright guys, let's first start with making a mesh instance 3D. And then we add a script to that. Uh, we could call it terrain generation or terrain gen so what we need to do first let's make this a tool so we could see the changes and we're gonna need two variables let's export those uh, var x size and uh, set that to 20 for now and then export var t size at the 20 as well plus we need two more variables to update from the editor this is just something i want to do so let's call this update so that false by default and another one for visually seeing the vertices that we're gonna make so well to clear it actually so i'm gonna have it create automatically clear now vert viz and save the false right so now in the ready method let's create a generate terrain function we could create that down here so what we're gonna need here now is an array mesh so let's say a mesh cast that as a array mesh you're not actually creating it yet just set it to be a array mesh and then we create a surface tool dot new now we need to loop through all of those but first let's set the surface tool to begin so begin and set the primitive to triangles so let's create a loop so for start with a z for z in in range z size z size we need to put plus one because uh we're making cubes so we need it to go up to the last one and then we could copy this over for the x size so x and x size all right now <clears throat> we need to set the vertices but let's create a variable first for the y position we could set that to zero for now we say surface tool dot add vertex and we could say vector three dot x, y, and z. Then outside that loop, say surf tool dot commit and pass it to the array then we set the mesh so mesh equals array mesh so i have a function that i'm gonna make here to actually see it so let me just grab that from my rehearsal copy paste that in so what this does is it takes the position vector tree creates a mesh instance adds the child to the mesh instance itself and then adds a sphere to it and we kind of reduce the size a little bit and then we set that sphere to be the mesh instance so it could go right here draw sphere and we pass that same vector 3 position we could save and let's take a look at it reload reload save scene there you go and I can now let's go back in here let's go to the update function or process I mean and we could say update here so copy this and put it here so say if update we want to rerun this code generate terrain and then set update back to false and then here now we say if clear vert this 
do a loop here. So for I in get children. This is just a clear, clear all of them. So we say I dot free, and that should be there. So we can go back here, save, reload, and now we could come here. We could change the size. Sixty, update. There you go. So it's sixty now on the X. Or uh, put it back to put it back to twenty. There. See that? The reason I have this clear here is just to get rid of these. Okay, guys. So now to create the first um triangle, let's so surface tool. That. Add index. We're gonna set the first one to be zero. Then we say surf tool again. That add index. Set that to one. And then for the last two. The last index we need to set add index, get the x size, and then set it to be plus one. And we need to move this up actually to be before comment. Then save. So what we're doing here, let me zoom in. So we're setting it to be this one, then this one, then the length of the the entire mesh, and then back plus one to get to this. So, if I reload, you should see the change. There you go. So that's the first triangle. Now for the second triangle, say surf tool. Let add again. Oops. Add index. We're gonna start from this one, then this one, then this one. So x size plus one, then one, then x size plus two. I remember we have to go clockwise. So here we say x size plus one. Then here one. Surf two x size plus two. Make sure you see that change before we continue. Reload. There you go. So that's our first squat. Now in order to get all of them, we could put this in another for loop. So let's copy this over. Indent this two times. Tab tab. Now what we'll need is, whoops, what we'll need is a index to check to increment after. So we could call this vert. So var vert, set it to be zero initially, and we could add that to all of these. So we'll say vert plus that, and let's copy these down. Vert vert vert. Vert, that, and that. that should just work. So we could say vert here, then we increment it by one. And if we check that, there's gonna be an error. But let's let me just show you, just in case, so you guys don't have the same problems. Let's reload that, and then there you go. Now that looks fine initially, <clears throat> but you need to do one more thing. If we try to change this to something uneven, it's gonna break. So let's go to maybe 26. Hey. Should break, but oh, that's because you can't see it. Let's go to here. Our frame. There you go. You guys don't see that line? That's not supposed to happen. So what we need to do is go here again. Say vert. Increment it again by one. So set it back to normal. Now, in order to set the height for the Y, we're going to use a um, simplex noise. So let's come here. We're going to create it here. <clears throat> so we should say var n equals fast noise fast noise light dot new and we could set some values set the type oh, I realize that's what I was doing wrong there set the noise type be a Perlin. and we could set the uh, 
frequency something not what it was before is it one now for the y change this now to be a value of and that get noise noise 2d passing the x and the z value and then we could times that by some value to increase how high it is that should change immediately so let's look back at it here reload scene there you go I remember we don't have normal set so it looks kind of strange and there's the problem that I was telling you about I don't know if you could see it so let's go back here and after we add the vertex and before we commit we say surface tool that generate I think it was generate normals save reload it here again not reload re reload scene there's an error. What's that error? Okay, guys. So right here, I had add range set here, which it shouldn't be. So I'll fix that, and this is how it looks now. So we need to add a texture to this. So let's go to here and go on the what one should I use? Let's go to materials, standard material, and you'll see what happened here. The albedo, the this material. You notice we don't have any texture showing, so we need to now set each uh, UV position for this, and that's pretty simple. So let's go back here. We come here and say UV, UV or var UV equals a vector two, and Let's say u dot x is equals to inverse slurp of zero and x size, and then pass in the x position here. So what this does is return the uh, percentage value that this would be between both zero and x size, because uv's are from zero to one. That returns zero to one or it could return more but in this case it won't since we're only going up to x size and then same thing for y or v in this case so inverse slurp, zero and z size and pass in a y or z i should say now all we have to do here is now is say surface tool that add UV or set UV and that should be that for there so let's go back here save and reload the scene all right guys so here we are that's it so let's reduce the jaggedness of the noise by going back here find where that noise is and then multiply this by some offsets so 0 0.5 and 0.5 so that should smooth it out a bit let's save and reload the scene there you go now it's a lot smoother all right guys so in the next tutorial i'm gonna attempt infinite terrain generation see you in the next tutorial guys take care